Hi everybody, this is Anna Cass for another Anna Cass Fitness. Today is currently October 10th, 2016, and I am very thrilled and happy to say that I survived the Hurricane Matthew uh, pretty much very unscathed. I just, I knew what was coming, and I'm coming, I'm originally from Puerto Rico, and I grew up in Florida for 22 years, so I pretty much know how to judge judge what to do on hurricanes so that makes any sense like I know how to prepare for them I know when to move out of the way I know when not to move out of the way and when I saw the storm coming up I was like that's mainly a lot of water so and knowing what I've been through here in Fayetteville North Carolina where you know if you sneeze you know people freak out I pretty much prepared and I have all the supplies that I needed so I made a point not to leave my house during the storm and a lot of people like idiots they did and then they got stuck in the car, the car got flooded, I'm like, whatever. So I am very fortunate to say that I didn't have any damage. I only had lost one shingle on my roof, just one, so that's awesome. And uh, my backyard flooded, the front of the house flooded, but luckily my neighbor, um, the sweet little old lady, she comes out, she cleans the drains, and she cleaned it right before the storm, so it kept our street from flooding, and it was starting to flood. Like I was debating whether to go outside in, in the middle of the storm and push my car up even further up the hill to make sure my car didn't flood out. Uh, but like I was saying in my previous videos, uh, you guys know that I've been working on my little home gym. I took out all the art supplies and I am actually have this in the back where I'm setting up an art studio so I can work from home. Uh, right now the only thing I might be looking forward to getting obviously is a yoga mat, which they're not that expensive. I'll be getting one of those soon. And then maybe a little bench right here um, and a few weights, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, because I have to move all the stuff, so I don't want to go too crazy. And technically, at the moment, I'm downsizing. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm giving away, getting rid of, but then there's a lot of things I'm gaining that I know I'm going to be using all the time. So it's pretty clean. The main thing on here is my jeans. Those of you guys who have been following me for a while, uh, those jeans are important to me because it is two sizes smaller from where I used to be. Those are a 24W at my largest. I was, well, the second time largest, I was a 28W at 265 pounds, and now I am a size 8 slash 10. So for me, it reminds me not to go backwards. Don't go back. I might get frustrated, I might, I might pout, I might, I might get annoyed at the fact that I'm not aesthetically pleasing to what we consider as a hard body, but every time I go to the gym, even when I'm having a good day or a bad day or I'm sucking, I still made it. I'm still making a difference. I'm still maintaining my body. And yes, it sucks that I can't go out and eat whatever I want. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I know what it feels like eating something and then having your heart feeling like it's going to give out. So I can live with this. I'm okay with it. Um, but for the most part, everything else is going really well. I was hoping this week to start um, with this one trainer I've been talking to. However... Um, this week is like the main peak week. Uh, there's a competition going on in Charlotte, North Carolina this following weekend, and he's got three clients who are competing in it. I'm going to see if I can drive over there and really check it out. I've never been to a bodybuilding competition, so I'll see if I can make it. Um, if I cannot, maybe I'll catch the next one. There's a couple coming up here shortly. Um, and so obviously I told him, like, so listen, just focus on your clients because they're on peak week, you know, I understand, and I'm one of those people like, oh, you got, no, no, no. These people have been busting their ass to look their best on stage. So for me, you know, they've been putting all the work ahead of me, that's fine. I can wait another week. So I'd rather have him focus on his clients now, you know, they, they're they pretty much right there, they're right there. How can I be an asshole and just take the attention away from them for me? And I, I just can't do that because I know that will piss me off. So. I'm just kind of giving him this week, you know, get this, the, the dog and pony show out of the way, and hopefully next week he'll come back rested, and then he can give me the attention we want, like, that I need, and then he can be all chilled, and he can focus on me, and what I need to do to get myself in shape, and I'm not looking forward to competing at NPC level, never have, I don't think I ever will, I admire those people because I know what goes into it, but... You know, I got loose skin, so that's going to be many, 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 many years before I can even consider it, unless I get many, 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 many surgeries, which I really don't want to go through that because I just went through it, and that sucked. And I'm like, before where I had my roommate, Andrew, who's, you know, God bless his little heart, he helped me out when I had the surgery, and my friend Andre, too, he helped me out. He drove me there. He stood with me 24 hours. You know, both my friends helped me out. This time around, I don't have anybody to stay with me. So, yeah, I can't. I can't be doing that. So 
But yeah, so I'm looking forward. Obviously, you can do it this week, but you know what? Next week is okay. In the meantime, this week, I'm just focusing. I'm getting back into, you know, I cleaned out my pantry. I got a couple beer bottles left. That's all I got left in my pantry right now, thank God. All the all the snacks are gone, and everything else is gone, all the old food's gone. So I have really cleaned out my pantry except for a few beers, which is pretty good. And the reason why that is before the hurricane, because, you know, let's face it, if the power goes out, you're staring at a wall. Unless you have a candles or flashlight, you maybe you're reading, but that gets kind of old after a while. So I might as well get drunk, pass out, fall asleep, and sleep through most of the storm. That's just the way that I think. That's just the way that I survived certain storms in the back in the, in the past. I just sleep through them. It just makes it go back so much faster instead of just being wide awake and freaking every time a strong gust goes through one of your roof is gonna blow away. So, but whatever. But anyway, guys, this has been Anna Cass from another Anna Cass Fitness. I'm um, sorry I don't have much to show you. Uh, the gym today was very packed. It was very hard for me to film myself working out. But you know what? Not a big deal. It makes sense because everybody, you know, they were cooped up for several days and they're just enjoying the beautiful day we got outside going on. Look at that sunshine, man. That is amazing. And on top of that, winter magically showed up. It's like, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, now that the storm's gone, it's 40 degrees this morning. I'm like, God peanut butter. I don't like the cold very much, especially now that I lost a lot of my insulation. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't film myself, but I'll try to do more um, within the next week. Um, just trying to work out on my own. But uh, that's it. That's all I got. But anyway, guys, this has been Anna Cass from another Anna Cass Fitness. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, Bodybuild.com, Fitbit, and MyFitnessPal. And if you cannot donate towards my cost, check out my GoFundMe. If you cannot donate towards my cost, at least share my story. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.